to be installing an AFCO Racing dual fan heat exchanger on this 2008 Shelby GT500. The heat exchanger features dual 10 inch spout fans on the back of it to pull air through it at all speeds and a double pass design for maximum cooling. To install the heat exchanger we have to remove the front bumper. We start by removing the three Phillips head screws that hold the front splitter to the inner fender liners. I prefer to take the front bumper, front splitter, and splash shield off with one assembly. It makes things go a little bit quicker. The next step is pulling out the three electrical connectors on either side of the bumper that are connected to the lights. For this next step, you need a really long extension with a 10 millimeter deep socket on the end. You have to reach up in the fender and find the two 10 millimeter nuts with the large washers and take them off. They hold the bumper to the fender. We've got the first nut off. The second nut is a little harder to get to. And that's it. The bumper's been undone from underneath. We just need to go up top and remove the two final bolts. The upper radiator cover needs to be removed before you can pull off the front bumper. This is accomplished by removing these eight push lock pins. The last step in removing the bumper is taking out these two top bolts. Once that's done, the bumper pulls off relatively easily. Next, this foam piece needs to come off. This whole line will be removed because a new one is supplied with the AFCO heat exchanger. We're also going to be in store installing a new high capacity reservoir, so this whole one will be removed as well. There are three bolts that hold the intercooler to the bumper. There's a nut on the back and a bolt that goes, that goes in from the front. We're going to loosen the nut first and then use an impact to quickly take the bolt out. Next, we're going to disconnect the electrical connector from the pump and put it to the side. These plastic shields are held to the heat exchanger bracket with put plastic push pins. They should be popped out. They'll be reused later. These little wings on the front of the heat exchanger need to be removed before it can be pulled out. Now the heat exchanger can be lifted up and then slid back down. Now we're going to remove the stock intercooler pump from the back of the heat exchanger.
AFCO includes two longer hoses and a bag with hardware, wiring harness, and various parts used to mount the new heat exchanger. We're also going to be installing a VMP high capacity reservoir. These little blue grommets get installed in the heat exchanger. AFCO supplies longer bolts to go through the bumper support. It helps if you only thread them about halfway through until you've mounted the heat exchanger. I like to install the heat exchanger without the pump and add it later. These black plastic shields on the side can get in the way, so you have to push them out. All right, now we're on the studs. We can finish threading them all the way in and secure the heat exchanger. You can tighten these nuts until they're snug. There's an aluminum insert inside the rubber bushing to prevent it from collapsing. Now that we've secured the heat exchanger mounting studs on this side, we're going to reattach the plastic shield to the heat exchanger with the plastic push pins. This shield is very important as it helps direct air into the radiator instead of around it. We've mounted the heat exchanger. We're going to begin reattaching the hoses and electrical connections. The factory bottom hose and clamp can be reused. We'll be using different hoses up top. The supplied right angle hose needs to be shortened slightly. The pump can be mounted on the new AFCO heat exchanger using the supplied nuts. <laughs> 